Hi, I'm Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about using color in sketches. And we can use a little bit more than color, but I'll get to that in a minute. What I have on screen here um, is a, a model uh, or some sketches from the Essentials class uh, that I teach. And all these sketches, all three of these sketches are the same color. So it's tough to sort out who's who in the zoo. So if I click on one of these, or better yet, right click on one of those, I can pick Sketch Color. And I can give each sketch its own color. So I gave the first one red, and I'll give this one uh, kind of a, oh, I don't know. No, that's not a real good color. Maybe a blue. Yeah, there we go, blue color. And then the third one, right click and Sketch Color. Um, let's try a yellow. Oh boy, yellow doesn't show up at all hardly. Uh, orange, yeah, but it's tough to tell uh, which one that is. How about, yeah, there we go, turquoise. That's, that's a little bit better. So now I've got three different sketches, and you can tell which entities now belong to which sketch because they're different color. Well, that's a very good thing. It's, it's a very handy thing when you're using layouts, okay? But let's take this a step further. When you're doing sketching uh, involving uh, consumer products where somebody has taken a picture of a product um, or uh, done a hand sketch and they want to uh, make the product um, similar to the sketch or the picture, uh, it's a little bit different uh, story. We uh, uh, Black lines kind of blend into black and white pictures and even color pictures. So if I go to a different model here now, <clears throat> Again, this is one from uh, the uh, Surfaces class uh, from SolidWorks. <clears throat> and uh, let me delete my picture here for a second, and I'll, then I'll bring it back. Um, first thing we do is we make the sketch line. Well, the sketch line is just a standard line uh, in a sketch, um, and it's 146 millimeters long, 70 from the right end to the origin, and it's got a coincident relationship with the origin. Whoa, what a good deal. Okay then. Uh, and then if you bring the uh, um, sketch picture in, the line tends to want to disappear. Well, that's not good. Okay? And I can't go to sketch picture from here. I mean, the sketch color from here. Uh, so I would have to exit my sketch and then go out to um, uh, sketch color. Uh, and give this some color. Let's make it red so it's easy to see. Okay, so now we can see that this is a little bit easier to see. Well, great. So let's look at this now from the top view because there's another picture from the top. Well, okay, um, I can see that, but you know, it's not maybe as obvious as I would like it to be. I would maybe like it to jump out of the... Uh, uh, the screen at me a little bit better because uh, you know you get busy and you get doing things and uh, I hate missing my pick and then having to go back and fix things so if I actually click on the sketch line that's red um, I have the uh, toolbar turned on for uh, line format this line format toolbar here um, I have it turned on down here in the bottom left and uh, when I click on the line I get a chance to change color and I can change the thickness of the line. Let me go to um, uh, customize here and unlock my toolbars for a minute. Something we can do in uh, 2016 is uh, lock our toolbars. So I want to be able to unlock this now just so I can bring this up here and see it a little bit better. So I've got this selected. Uh, I can change color, I can change line style, I can change line thickness, and this is color display mode where I can turn that off or on. Now it's off, I see uh, gray or black, and now it's back on. So perfect. Okay, now I want to make this thing thicker. So let's pick a thicker line. Okay then. Yeah, now I can see this line really really easy let's go to the uh, uh, side view now the right view 
that thing really stands out nice okay so then when you start doing your your sketching and things on here this this line is very very easy to find if you don't have that if you just have a, um, a black line on top of a black and white sketch it's a nightmare boys and girls use color to your advantage you can even you know change the color of all your surface models and things when you're doing things or your solid bodies if you got multiple bodies use color to your advantage it's a good thing all right that's all the preaching I'm going to do today. <laughs> Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.